They have done well so far. As the defense doing its job again. Uh, he is just a beast. Calais Campbell has produced six successful seasons in the NFL. Calais Campbell's a guy that can take over a football game. At age 27, he's got plenty more to come. But when it comes time to hang up the cleats, Campbell already knows what he'll be doing in life after football, producing movies. When you're finished with football, I mean, are you going to move to Hollywood and go full bore into it, or were you just kind of dabble, or what do you think? You know, uh, I do have plans to move to Hollywood and, and give it a, a good shot, you know I mean? It's kind of like football, I mean, you give it your best shot, you never know if you're going to make it or not. There's so many kids that want to play in the NFL, but never really do. And uh, for me, I was lucky enough to, to achieve this dream, so I figured that uh, why not give it another chance and go into another world, which is very, rare, very, very rare to succeed in, but you never know, I might get lucky. Luck always helps. Calais has been a movie buff since he was a kid. In recent years, he started laying the groundwork for his second career. In 2011, during the lockout, Campbell spent time in Hollywood learning as much as he could about the business. It was pretty cool. I mean, I've done some stuff where I went and hung out with Funny or Die and, and did some like short skits and stuff. And then I did the Hollywood Boot Camp, the NFL Hollywood Boot Camp, which is kind of cool because um, they really like take all the people, like it's like a, a group of 20, 20 of us, mostly ex players, but a few current players that are really in the film. And they kind of just give us uh, a lot of resources and a lot of people who are in the industry. And they allowed us to like put together. Uh, like the shorts, uh, like short stories, and like actually create a film. He's down. It starts to show as you can see right away that he's just struggling, man. He's at the bus stop in the early scenes. He's walking around with a big, you know, X-ray machine. Calais and his brothers Jared and Raj break down feature film like game film. Most people in movies these days they want hot concept, you know. But this concept isn't really you no know, hot concept. It's very simple, but it's just such a touching story. They are currently partnering on producing their own feature-length movie. It takes time. I mean, this script, we started on this January 2013. Took about nine months to get a good, solid script together. Almost a year, actually, and then we started trying to work on budgeting and how we could raise the money to make it. And shooting it, just, shooting it independent is, you know, it's a tough lifestyle on its own. As the youngest of six boys, Jared often used his sense of humor to measure up to his older, bigger brothers. All right, Calais is actually a thief of my height. Every one of my, we had six boys, and every one of them was around 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I'm six foot, Calais is 6'8". You do the math. <laughs> Calais only four inches. <laughs> Jared has been telling jokes on stage since he was 19. In fact, my grandma's last words to me was, that baby look grown. <laughs> <laughs> and she had a point, she had a point, I did. I don't know why my mama dressed me with corduroys and a suit jacket at two years old. <laughs> now I can't post no throwback Thursday pictures. Calais and Cardinals teammate Sam Acho supported Jared in a recent stint at Stand Up Live. Calais enjoys all comedies, including the romantic kind. I think as a woman, we like to hear that a big, strong football player <laughs> like you likes chick flicks, but I'm sure you I get a lot of grief coming. from your teammates and your brother and Definitely, everybody else. Definitely, but uh, most of my teammates, they don't like to admit it yet, but <laughs> the ones I like, you know, they like them too, like Sam Macho and Dan Williams. Only two names I'll say, I won't say anybody else's names. But. <laughs> <laughs> the brothers hope to follow in another set of brothers' footsteps, the Wayan brothers. They even dream of surpassing them. I think the Wayne and Brothers are definitely who we would idolize ourselves out, but truth be told, the Wayne and Brothers might try to be the Campbell Brothers soon is what we want to finish doing what we need to do. <laughs> That's a big statement, but hopefully one day. How about sitting in the crowd with the Oscar nominee? How <laughs> yeah. cool would that be? That would, that would be awesome. <laughs> Gail Jansen for Sports Night.